So did you know that it's actually possible to run code directly in the editor with Godot? Cause yeah, sometimes having to run the entire scene just to check that one method is working as expected is a bit of a waste of time, and running your logic directly in the editor can really help boost your workflow. For example, you might remember that when I showed you my portal feature remake, at one point I had those blocks and lines that were animating or changing color dynamically, all by toggling some button in the inspector, and my game wasn't actually running. Now to do that, you need to use two tricks. First, you need to make sure that the script that contains the method you want to run is a tool script. Or in other words, a script that Godot can run from within the editor, and not just when the thing is playing. In GDScript, this is done by adding the add tool keyword, and in C-sharp, this is done by giving the tool attribute to your class. From that point on, if you close the scene that contains the script and reopens it just to reload everything properly, then you'll see that whatever you put in your ready or process hooks, for example, will happen directly in the editor, even if you're not actually running the game. Second, to trigger a function in this tool script, you can use a little hack based on Godot's setters. As a quick reminder, setters are custom functions that you can define in GDScript and in c -sharp to be run whenever the value of a variable changes. And so indeed, by creating some fake boolean variable with a custom setter, you can basically get a button-like toggle in the inspector that runs some specific logic when its value is updated. Now, you don't really care about what the value is, you just want to use the fact that updating the value triggers custom code. Oh, and by the way, if you want more details on all of that, you can actually do, like Miles, my brand new line member, and join my Patreon. And if you just want to get early access to those quick tutorials, then you can check out my brand new YouTube subscription offers. But anyway, that's it. You see that now we can run any kind of logic directly in the editor just by clicking on our fake button in the inspector, and we don't need to run our scene to test out our function anymore. Anyway, I hope you liked this quick tutorial. Again, thank you so much for all of your support. As usual, feel free to suggest more ideas for future videos in the comments, and keep an eye out for more game creation content. And as always, take care.